It was great. It was good fun. I think everyone enjoyed and that's the main thing. Christopher, so judges' comments, what are your thoughts on those? Um, I was very pleased with them. Um, it, it is a power song and the dynamics are going to be energetic and um, forceful in some respects um, from beginning to end really, but it is an energetic number. So. Well done everyone, Diane, Diane. <laughs> The next choir to perform is from Belfast, Northern Ireland. It's Strathlin School Chamber Choir with Hallelujah, Get Happy. JB, did that performance make you a happy, happy man? <laughs> <laughs> it did. You guys are, are such great performers. I, I think you've got such a bright sound to your vocals, and I think you guys technically are always very solid, always very good. I kind of wanted to see you guys step out of, I guess, your technical strengths and just have a bit more passion. The energy's there, but I think it just needed to have a little bit more emotion. Carrie, they're, they're so vocally precise, aren't they? They are, and I think actually the last time we saw you, you sang a song that was about comfort and peace, and that really suited your style, your vocal style. With this song, it demanded, it's, oh, happy day, it's wow. And I was waiting for the next gear, and it did, just didn't quite come for me, I'm afraid. Okay, thank you, Kerry. Uh, Ken, uh, how about you? What did you make of that performance? Oh, lovely blend, excellent discipline, very precise. It was just really wonderful to listen to such polished, well-rehearsed singing. So, well done. Thank you very much, judges. Strathern School Chamber Choir, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Um, I think we all did really well. I mean, we put in a lot, lot of effort into it, and 
we really tried to like get across that sort of gospel, spiritual, happy sound mm -hmm. and yeah, we'd all just really tried our best. We think you've made Northern Ireland proud today, would you agree with that? I think so, yeah. We've had so much support from friends and family and just knowing that they're behind us and backing us all the way has been really helpful to us. The wait is over for our third finalist, St Anne's Gospel Choir from London. They've chosen Swing Low as their inspirational song. Carrie, was that joyful enough for you? It was joyful. It was really ambitious, my goodness. There was so much in that arrangement that was incredibly complicated. The main gist of that lyric is, I am so excited to be going home. Home to heaven. It's a better time. It's a better future. Now is suffering. Tomorrow is better. I don't know that I saw that, if I'm honest. I heard it, but I did not see that on your faces. Uh, Ken, what did you make of the performance? I, I echo what Carrie says in terms of making sure that, you know, we have the different emotions and we have the journey and, and you know, a bit of ebb and flow throughout that. But nevertheless, your sound, just absolutely love your sound and your energy. So well done. Thank you, Ken. JB, ladies. what about you? What did you think? I think you guys make your performance just so effortless. You guys really know each other. You're comfortable with each other. You're happy being led. You're happy to lead. You know, I think it's great to see two solos and you really both shone in your own right. So uh, there were a couple of moments where I, I, the pitching wasn't 100% perfect. But that aside, you guys, uh, you know, are very, very strong with your performance. Thank you very much, judges, and a huge round of applause to St Anne's Gospel Choir.
we've been training and working so hard for this like this one moment that has been completely up to God and it's been in his own hands we've been working so hard I didn't even expect us to get this far so I'm really already extremely <laughs> yeah. happy we are one unit so yeah. when we all improve we all improve together and I think that is really one really important yeah. thing. Nerves are no doubt jangling in the wings as it's almost time to reveal our winning senior choir. So let's see what the judges have to say about it. Well, that was a really intense final from my point of view. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to start and really brought that sound off the stage and made use of the whole auditorium. I heard the voices ringing in every corner. It's a very full sound and we know that they can deliver that, but there wasn't that much variation. Catherine, well, I think exemplary in many, many ways in terms of entries and cut-offs and blend. They were just effortless in the way that they were able to produce that. For me, it was the question, was their first performance strong enough to get them all the way? I felt St Anne's were really ambitious and I applaud the ambition. I just wanted to see just more in the eyes and in the face to sort of say, this is what, what we want to put across. But they are a superb choir. Technically, it was like a hundred times more technical than anything we've seen. Yeah. It wasn't flawless, but it was, by and large, it was very, very good. Yep. When I think about who I like to win, I'm still torn a little bit. So they would be your first, they'd be your third. Yeah. They would be my third too. And that's why we have three judges. The moment has arrived. The judges have a winner, and it's very, very tense here on stage, I can tell you. Ken, have you got a, a message for all our finalists? Finalists, you have all done fantastically well. Whichever choir is mentioned in just a moment, it could be any one of you three choirs. Honestly, I mean, you're fantastic. JB, will you please announce the Songs of Praise Senior Young Choir of the Year for 2018? The Songs of Praise Senior Young Choir of the Year 2018 is... Strathern. I've never ever seen two more surprised girls, ever. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just appreciated the level of talent from all the choirs we were up against today and we're just so appreciative and grateful <laughs> and shocked. But again, thanks so much to Miss MacGyver and Miss Kimber because so much work has gone into this. Uh, well, very deserved winners. Well done to Strathern, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, a huge round of applause for our other two finalists. It's been a fabulous competition. I hope you agree. Our thanks to all the choirs, the judges, the audience here, and of course, you at home. From Pontio in Bangor, goodbye. Well done. More musicians singing later, it's the BBC Young Musician Grand Final at 7 on BBC4. How oysters are being reintroduced to the Solent and why farmers are at risk of cyber attack. Country File at 7. And then the best TV guaranteed, Sue Perkins hosts the British Academy Television Awards. That's the date on BBC One.